His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed ongoing efforts to develop governmental services and reinforce ministers and officials' communication with the people to ensure providing them with the services they need. Their Royal Highnesses affirmed the government's keenness to implement the directives of His Majesty the King for intensifying ministers' visits to cities and villages. They also stressed the outcomes of such visits and direct contact with the people, enhanced the scope of discussions regarding all national issues. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today with President of the Senate of Jordan, Faisal Al Fayez, and his accompanying delegation, currently on a visit to the Kingdom. Also present was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said regional circumstances require more Arab cooperation, highlighting the initiatives that support Arab unity, such as the recent North Thunder military maneuvers. The meeting reviewed the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and Jordan and the ongoing cooperation in various fields, thanks to the brotherly bonds linking both countries and people, in addition to a mutual keenness to build a strong foundation for fruitful cooperation. The meeting also discussed increasing exchanging official visits so as to consolidate joint coordination. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed Bahrain's keenness to enhance fields of cooperation with Jordan and expand fields of cooperation for the best interests of the two countries and their people. For his part, Faisal al Fayez thanked His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for meeting with him and commended his keenness to reinforce bilateral relations. He stressed Bahraini-Jordanian ties are a model of brotherly and friendly relations, expressing keenness to enhance joint cooperation so as to serve the interests of the two countries.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met at Gudebiya Palace today with Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh and a number of members of the Shura and Representative Councils in the presence of former Representative Council Speaker Khalifa Al Dahrani. His Royal Highness highlighted the cohesion of Bahraini society, saying today's generation is building its social relations based on their fathers and forefathers. He pointed out that national unity has led Bahrain to achieve many accomplishments in various fields and to face all attempts aimed at harming social cohesion and disturbing security and stability. The Prime Minister affirmed the government's keenness to provide all villages and cities in Bahrain with the necessary development projects in order for all people to enjoy the best living standards. He said all directives to ministers and officials focus on the necessity to speed up the completion of services and developmental projects across the kingdom so as to meet the needs and demands of the people, adding that despite the current economic situation, work is ongoing to complete developmental projects and establish new ones in with the comprehensive system. His Royal Highness asserted that the government follows the directives of His Majesty the King to develop all cities and villages in the kingdom through infrastructure projects and providing housing, educational and health services to everyone. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of strengthening communication between ministers and officials and citizens and their representatives through field visits that would contribute to solving the issues of the citizens and improve their living standards. He highlighted the efforts of MPs to follow up with their constituency's needs, which serve the prosperity of the homeland and the people.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The cabinet affirmed the importance of conducting more visits and meetings and exchanging letters with neighborly countries in order to strengthen Arab unity and reject any kind of interference. The cabinet hailed the positive outcomes of the meetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the meetings with the Yemeni President Abd Rabu Mansur Hadi, where they discussed topics of common interests. The Cabinet expressed condolences to the UAE over the victims of Fly Dubai plane, which crashed near Rostov-on-Don airport in southern Russia. They also condoled Russia on the incident. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to study the situation of the Noedrat Central Market and take the necessary procedures to open it. His Royal Highness directed the Minister to personally follow up on the matter. He also directed the Ministry to study a plan to extend the sewage connections in Bugwa, Jablat Hibshi and North Sahla cities. The Cabinet praised Bahrain on winning the 2014 Arab Gulf Programme for United Nations Development Organization Prize in marketing domestically manufactured products. A number of topics were discussed during the Cabinet meeting, including moving workshops and garages from residential areas to industrial areas. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to follow up on this matter. The Cabinet followed up on Bahrain's obligations in agreements stipulating non-proliferation of weapons of mass destruction to the National Committee for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. The meeting discussed the report of the National Committee regarding the weapons prohibition and directed the appointed committee to follow up on all topics regarding the matter. The Cabinet referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs to transfer the convicted according to the agreement between the Government of Bahrain and India and to take the necessary measures. The Cabinet approved a proposal by the Representatives' Council regarding the conditions of Bahraini fishermen. The Cabinet approved another proposal by the Representatives' Council regarding establishing a specialised centre for infertility treatment. A very good evening, you're watching the Business and News on Bahrain Television. Betulka held its 36th annual general meeting for 2015, where shareholders approved a full-year cash dividend of 41.58 million BD. The company said that 10 falls per share was already paid during the third quarter of 2015, with the remaining 15 falls to be paid in the coming weeks. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,163.10 points, a decrease of 6.15 below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors traded mainly in the investment with 59% of total shares. 32 transactions involved 1,823,627 shares, or 328,076 BD.